Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys we are going to be doing another Every Card Has a Story. Uh, you guys seem to like these videos from time to time when I do them. If you guys are new to the channel and you don't know what this segment is, it's a segment that I do for once in a while, uh, talking about certain cards in my collection because I have a big collection, that I talk about their sentimental value, and they may be for different reasons, be they, you know, cards that I associate with people I've met in my life, or duels I've had in my life, or moments in my Yu-Gi-Oh life, or life in general, be it um, whatever, they have a sentimental value. And even though these cards may not be super expensive or you know common or whatever, they hold value for me because of the memories they hold. And that's why I enjoy uh, showing them off to you guys and just talking about the special moments I associate with them. Uh, this one is, I guess you could attribute to why I have this channel, and that is my Kaiba Man Super Rares. So, I have two commons, and there's a story behind those two commons, which I'll talk about in a second. So first off, let's put them on the field. Our three or four Kaiba Men. All right, the four Kaiba Men, I call them. The four Knights of the Apocalypse, whatever. So, the Super Kaiba Mans I got ages ago, which I'll take out. And I actually keep them in kind of interest, this one in interesting sleeves, because this is the original one. I keep it in a Seto Kaiba sleeve. But uh, they're a little scratched up and dinged up because they're pretty old cards. They're not super, like they're playable. They're just like scuffed up a little bit. Like there's some scratches, but you know, they're lightly played. Nothing like bent or like broken or anything like that. Like you can see, like if I look at the back, there's no bend marks. They're just scratched up a little bit. This one's in the worst condition. This one's okay. Uh, it's got a little like crease right there, but they're very old. They came out of a WC5, which I forget what set that is. And these commons are from the set, the blue eye structure deck that we got about four years ago now. So the story is, and people don't know this, people, when I meet them, and they know me, though, I don't know why, I don't know if it's because I have so many decks, I don't know if it's because I spend, I don't spend a super a lot, but I spend money on Yu-Gi-Oh! But they always call me Kaiba. People, are, people that know me very well, they'll call me Kevin, which is my real name. But people that forget my name, they just met me, they'll just be like, uh, Kaiba! And I'll look up and I'll be like, yeah? <laughs> people do that all the time to me at locals. Wherever I go, they'll be like, Kaiba, Kaiba. I've literally, like like I said, I've taken that name on as my second name. Like, my, like you know how like writers out there, they'll have like their, um, their real name, but they'll use a pen name, which is not their real name. That's literally what I've done with this channel, it feels like. Kevin, Kevin is my real name. Seto Kaiba is my pen name for this channel, I guess you could say. So literally everybody refers to me as Kaiba. Uh, so years ago, back at one of my old locals I used to visit a lot, people started giving me Super Kaiba Mans. I started to have a lot of them. Uh, they were always banged up really bad, but these are the two that are in the best shape. And I kept them, and I sleeved them up, and I put them away. But people used to give these to me just because, hey, you're Kaiba. Here, have a Kaiba man. Have a Kaiba man. And later on down the road, people started doing it again when Kaiba man got reprinted and when people were cracking open their Blue Eyes Red Dragon structure decks, they were like, here, Kaiba, you have a channel named Seto Kaiba, right? Yeah, take a Kaiba man. I was a joke. Take a, take a Kaiba, man. You're Kaiba. <laughs> so that was the running gag forever about me because I, my channel's name was Seto Kaiba, so the name of Kaiba, man. And that's why I started the channel originally because, and one of, one of the many reasons I named it Seto Kaiba or Kaiba, man, the channel, excuse me, Seto Kaiba, is because people used to refer to me as, as Kaiba and Kaiba, man. Uh, which would have probably been the second name for this channel if it wasn't for uh, me choosing Seto Kaiba. It would have been Kaiba Man. I'm not joking. It would have been Kaiba Man, and that would have been my mascot for the channel. But, yes, a little fun fact. The channel could have been called Kaiba Man instead of Seto Kaiba. But I prefer Seto Kaiba better. But, yeah, people used to always hand these out to me. Uh, if I ever sign cards for people, which I've done a couple times, it's either Kaiba Man's or it's Blue Eyes White Dragon's. But I always love when somebody gives me a Kaiba Man to sign, and I'll be like, oh, sweet. I'm like, somebody else thinks I'm Kaiba Man. It's just a fun little story. You have to be in the know with me to know this, but yes. They, these really have some more value, the supers, because I've had these for at least 
seven years now, at least seven to eight years. These I've had for about four years, but people just hand me Kaibamans all the time nowadays. Uh, well, they used to when I first got started on my channel. But people, if they if you've been to my, one of my locals and I'm there, people sometimes you know say my real name, Kevin, if I know them very well, or they'll be like, Kaiba, Kaiba, or Seto, Seto, where's Seto at? <laughs> Seto, I need your help over here with this deck. And I'll go, I'll look up, yep. So I answer to the name of Seto. Like I said, it's my second name, but yes. Uh, little fun story behind these cards. It's kind of interesting. But like I said, one of these, I believe it was this one right here, was given to me by a very good friend of mine who has since um, quit playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, he actually had to go through some chemotherapy recently. I hope he, I, He's okay now. He's in remission. But yes, great stories behind these cards. So until next time, guys, take care, have fun dueling, good luck dueling, and I hope you enjoyed this segment of Every Card Has a Story. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.